next episode. In this episode, uh, I'm going to be talking about the questions that I have been getting from many of you. Uh, uh, the most important questions were, okay, what are the foods we can eat? What are the foods that we should avoid? And is there a menu that you can suggest to us? The important thing in uh, avoiding food is it's going to be very difficult to give it up 100%, you know, just like that. So you need to follow a schedule. And I always suggest to people, like, reduce your normal intake by 10% and start eating 90% maybe for a week, a couple of weeks, or maybe even a month, your body will get adjusted to that quantity of food, 90%. Then you reduce it. Once you think your body has accepted it, you reduce it by another 10% to 80% of not what you would normally eat. And all along you watch your sugar, as I am suggesting, and that will give you an idea about uh, how your body is reacting to cutting down on certain foods. So it's a very easy way and it is by trial and error. What worked for me may not work for you, but something else you might find works for you. Like, you know, one thing I was always under the impression that dates are very sweet, even the plain ones that do not have any sugar injected into them. They're very sweet and I was under the impression that they increase the sugar but no dates do not increase the sugar and it gives you that sugary taste in your mouth so that's a great thing I found out myself the next thing was fruits many people would say you have to avoid fruits no fruits in moderation is actually good because you get your fibers and things like now we will see the foods that we should avoid and the foods that we can eat. The list I'm going to show you here is only a sample uh, to give you an idea of the kinds of foods you should avoid. So the first thing to avoid are any kind of breads. We are all used to eating a lot of breads for breakfast. Uh, buns with our uh, hamburgers and cheeseburgers. We need to avoid any kind of breads. The next carb you need to avoid are rotis, tortillas. In, in, the, in Indian it's called rotis or chapatis because they are made of wheat. Any kind of pasta, it's full of carbs and better avoid it. Any kind of chips, tortilla chips, potato chips, uh, we are all fond of snacking and it's better if we avoided them. Rice. Rice in any form. Uh, Indians like to eat rice in the form of idlis, dosa. Chinese eat fried rice. So rice is equal to wheat in its carb and glycemic index. Sugar in any form or kind. Desserts, we all have a sweet tooth. The desserts are the biggest culprit for the diabetes. So avoid any kind of sweets. And even plain sugar, better avoid it in coffee and tea. Try to eat, drink them without any sweetener. Uh, no, avoid any cakes, desserts, birthday cakes, cookies. When you see cookies lying around, sometimes we feel like popping one into our mouth. No, we should avoid that. Deserts, ice creams should be avoided. If they are sugar free, then a small portion. Try to eat half a portion and leave the other half. That will be very good, but sugar free. Fried food is one of the worst enemies for diabetes. Avoid French fries, 
which is deep fried in oil and it's full of potatoes and carbs. Fried chicken. This is another favorite for everybody who's a non-vegetarian. Avoid fried food. Uh, preferably eat barbecued or grilled meat. Uh, this is an Indian snack, uh, which is fried in oil and full of flour. Uh, avoid it. This is an Indian delicacy called samosa. It's very bad because the outer shell is made of wheat flour. It's filled with potatoes and deep fried in oil. Definitely to be avoided. This is a South Indian speciality called vada. Uh, again, should be avoided because they soak up a lot of oil. They look like small donuts and it's not good. Any kind of packaged food should be avoided. Packaged food have some preservatives in them and most of them are carbs because they are made of wheat or rice. Uh, it should be avoided. I did notice that eating any kind of packaged food, even though it may be something that we think is good, uh, always increases my sugar. Now let's start with the foods we can eat. A lot of proteins. Here I've shown some meat with some asparagus. Another sausages, good source of proteins. Fish, salmon fish especially has a lot of omega-3, very good for diabetes. Uh, vegetarians, Indians are very used to eating something called pani. This is a form of cheese. So we can get the proteins from paneer, dals, lentils, vegetables. Vegetables is the best for our body. It is natural, it's not cooked. It in salads, so load up on vegetables whenever you can. Uh, barbecued skewers are very good with vegetables because they don't need oil to fry them or cook them. So vegetables, any amount of vegetables will not hurt diabetes. Salads, load up on salads. Eat a big portion of salad during your meal, so then you are less hungry to crave anything. Salads, plate of salads, very good. Uh, dates, this was a surprising find for me. It is so sweet, yet it doesn't increase sugar as long as you keep it in moderation to one or two pieces at a time. Peanuts is a very good snacking item I had found through my own experience. So whenever I, we make a lot of boiled peanuts and also baked peanuts in the oven, uh, and uh, it, it's very good. It doesn't increase your sugar. Lots of water. Load up on lots of water. I personally drink 3 to 3.5 three liters a day. A minimum a diabetic should be drinking is 2 liters. And it's very difficult to so start off with a little, have a half a little bottle with you and keep taking sips. Whenever you see the bottle, you should just lift it and have a gun. That way slowly you'll get used to it. I drink 1 liter of water, room temperature water. The first thing in the morning, as soon as I wake up after brushing the teeth, I have my first one liter of bottle before I sit in my meditation. It will wash away all our toxins and it's very good. Here is my typical menu. People ask me what is it that I eat. So here is my typical menu. This is my breakfast. I usually have one egg and a couple of small sausage links. Uh, the eggs are made in different styles like sunny side up, uh, boiled or made into an omelette. This is my lunch. I have a bowl of salad and a bowl of lentil soup. We call it dal in India. And this is my dinner. I have a plate of meat 
a piece of meat and this is a sausage that's cut up. And then I always like to end my day with a something sweet. So I go in for one or two dates at the end of the day.